Eddie, uh, what's going on? Hey, hey, Gus. Uh, I, I just, I don't know why. I just wanted to run another video idea by you. It's, it's a video on Logan Paul. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um. Well, I uh, pleasant surprise. I, I was not expecting that. I think that's, uh, that's a really good idea, dude. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's up to us fellow creators to call out people like Logan and just hold him yes. accountable for the crappy things he does. You know what I mean, dude? Yeah, like, exactly. You, dude. You've got my full support on this one, I promise you. Thank you. That makes me feel really good about what I'm doing. Thank you so much. You know, it's funny that you mentioned that. Um, I was just wondering if, like, you had a minute. Um, I don't. Because uh, I don't I, uh, have a minute. I'm... I just have been uh, kind of going through um, some stuff lately, and it's been a really hard um, couple of days, and I was just kind of hoping that I could maybe um, come spend some time. I told, uh, 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 I, I don't want him to come over. I don't want that at all. So do you think he's going to call back? Because I don't know what to say if. If he calls back, I kind of just hung up on him when he was in a really vulnerable place. I want to make it clear in the beginning that this is not a video about what Logan just did. I was already making this video. I think it's still important. We're just going to maybe talk about it at the very end for like a little bit. And I'm not going to touch it otherwise because holy shit. Um... Oh my god. <laughs> if you don't know my Let's Examine content series, it's usually we just watch the recent uploads published by the person we're talking about, and I examine it, and we give them a fair chance to see if they're good creators, and it always works. They always redeem themselves, and it's never just me selecting people who I find terrible and want to talk about what they make professionally. That's not it. So before I talk about big picture anything, let's jump in to one of Logan's recent videos. And Logan really knocks it out of the park with this one. My divorced parents' reaction to my 2017 best year of my life. Emotional. Ah, layovers. Guys, I'm at the airport right now. I'm in uh, Minneapolis. I don't even know where that is. Logan, it's in Minnesota. Yeah, I'm geographically declined. I'm 22, guys. I still have a lot to learn. Anyway. What the fuck did you just say, Logan? You knew where Minneapolis was and then said you're geographically declined? I don't know if that was a joke or not. Is he playing a dumb character? Or is he actually just dumb? I'm 22 guys, I got a lot to learn. Tip. <music> learn where you are at all, most times. Not at all times, but at most times, have a general idea of your surroundings and probably get that figured out before you're 22 years old. I'm excited, yo, your boy is on his way to Ohio. I grew up there in Cleveland, and I haven't been there in about a year. And it's always nice to go home and see family, except I will say, like, I'm, I already missed Los Angeles, and I'm not even in Ohio yet, but it's just because, like, I made LA my home. And just, ah. Now, I, I talk with hand gestures all the time. I just became aware of it. I don't, I don't know what to do with these now. Just, just pack them away. For the rest of it, I'll just keep him here. Can you imagine? I can't do that. Can you imagine just seeing a guy in the airport just fucking constantly? No, hey guys, I'm geographic. I'm 22. I got a lot to learn. Anyways, guys, um, before we start this vlog, I just want to say yesterday's 2017 best year of my life video. I'm just getting warmed up. You go watch it. Oh, the Logan is the strongest family on the internet. You're just getting warmed up in 2017. <laughs> We're not talking about the other stuff, but can we just acknowledge? that Logan finished his 2017 video and was like, hey, what up drone about to do the city shot? I'm just getting warmed up. Cut to the first day of the next year. That's like if a runner made a video about their progress through 2017 and they're like, so that was my 2017. Can't wait to see how far I run in 2018. And then he goes to run off frame and his leg just shatters into multiple pieces. <laughs> I will, I'll stop nit nitpicking this moment in a second. When I say that Jake, the Jake Paulers are the strongest army out there, Logan. There's the Jake Pauler army and then there's the low gang. What wins, an army or a gang? Probably an army, unless it's like a really big, strong gang. I feel like that video was just an awesome summation of the year and the crazy things we've accomplished. Which, by the way, on that note, if you're not a part of the low gang, subscribe for me. Um, did you do it yet? I'm gonna wait here. Just subscribe. Vlogging in public is fun. Security, there's a crazy man in my terminal. Hi, hello. Anyway, yeah, hit the subscribe button. To all vloggers, good or bad, 
Stop bothering people in public. I talked about it in an old video. I like Casey Neistat, but in one of his videos, he opened a switch next to a guy on the airplane and the guy's just fucking confused the entire time. Plane right there, guys. I can see my breath. Look at, ha, ha, ha. But good news, before I left, Armani and his boys, they made some progress on the smash room. Honey. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. The smash room. I see you, bro. We got stuff. We got wood. Wait, is this like a closet? Oh, yeah. Hold the phone. What the fuck is the smash room? I have to know now. I'm going. I have to. I can't continue this video without knowing what the fuck the smash room is. Okay, so the smash room, I think, is, is just a room for his friends to stay, and I guess have sex with, with girls. If you make videos and songs specifically aimed at children, and make merch specifically aimed at children, you gotta make content that is for children. You know, like any kid's content that you watch. You guys remember when we were kids and Spongebob went over to Patrick's Rock and they built a dedicated room to fuck women in? You remember that? That's one of my favorite memories. That's my favorite episode. All their videos are so long. I'm skipping to where he's reacting with his parents to his 2017 video. Okay, this is big. It's so crazy. I've never felt this close to you guys since before you divorced and ruined my childhood. All right, ready for this video? You had two Christmases. I think your childhood didn't turn out pretty good. Yeah. Logan, you don't say that to your parents. What the fuck, dude? You're 22. You gotta know, even when you're on camera, that there's certain shit you just don't say to people. Well, I know he doesn't know that. Logan's year in review is not really anything significant. It's just like, hey, I rap battled with my brother and I made a lot of money. Ain't that fun? Get up. Wow. wow. I taught you that. The... And lastly, let's not forget about my movie Airplane Mode starring your favorite social media I love that. January. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you that, but you're Really? <laughs> really? Oh, also... <laughs> If you notice the look on Logan's face when he sees airplane mode, I'm almost positive from what I read on Reddit that there's a guy who Logan tried to pay money to get the name airplane mode for because it's the name of his band or a song of his or something. And this guy is totally uh, legally keeping Logan from putting his movie out because of the name. And his mom's like, really? Your movie? January? And he's like, yeah, I hope. Fuck. This dude <laughs> just keeps delaying my movie and I don't know what to do. Movies. That's big. No, your movie. Oh, yeah. Not yeah your movie. Not your <laughs> movie. <laughs> what was that exchange? Your movie. Movies. No, your movie. Oh. Had the Secret Service arrest my brother Jake? I didn't like that. <laughs> For the record, poor Jake's face. I did not like that. <laughs> he ain't a little bitch. He can handle it. Yeah, he was fine. I was sad. I asked in movies that your fans watch with their babysitter. He made a dish arc against me. The Logan is sh. I don't like how you're mean to your brother and he's like he ain't a little bitch and his dad wearing all the the merch that makes him a ton of money and lets him make out with young girls is like yeah jake ain't a little bitch get with it her look after is just like i can't believe that my sons do these diss tracks i'm looking at ca the camera for help please help me i like that logan buys me a bunch of things like nice houses but my god they publicly have a terrible relationship <laughs> <laughs> it's just awkward because like he's your other son and like and still very few people really know the truth all right let's move on <laughs> like, I love the kid. Jake, I love you. I love you. there it is there it is his dad's like and still people these kids don't know that you guys don't actually hate each other Fuck, dad stop dude don't reveal that shit on my vlog stop though because Jake and I like deceiving all these kids, these millions of kids. Don't reveal my secret if I just stop. Nope. Look, without these guys, if they had not fornicated um, and done the theft, you, I would Wait, you I had to add here. that in? Dude, read the room. It's just, it's just you three right now. Don't joke about your parents fucking. That's my tip. <laughs> Don't do that. That's weird. That's a weird thing to say. You new here. Hi, my name is Logan Paul. Normally, I don't sound like a hooker on bath salts, but it's the morning and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I just hit 16 million on Instagram at Logan Paul. We about to hit 15 million on this channel. Who's doing it, baby? That's the Maverick life. So, if you're not a part of the Logan, if you're not subscribed, uh, <laughs> what? 
You can live a better life. It's possible. Just hit the subscribe button. That's the real base problem with Logan Paul. Obviously, he did that fucked up shit, but I believe this is what he's truly doing wrong most of the time. He just said to his audience of children, we just hit 16 million on Instagram. We're about to hit 15 million subscribers on YouTube. That's the Maverick life saying buy the Maverick merch to get 15 or 16 million followers on every social media platform and then says you can live a better life. It's just this weird cult thing of like buy my merch and watch my shit and listen to my songs and you too can be Logan Paul. It's just so disappointing to see people my age who grew up on the internet abusing it in such a gross way. Kids shows are based around usually teaching a lesson to a kid on how they can grow to be a better person and they want to entertain children and then hopefully because they're businesses they want to make money from kids buying backpacks and stuff like that. Logan doesn't teach kids lessons he just makes advertisements. It's like watching a kids tv show but there's no show and it's all commercials. Guys I'm switching. I'm gonna say it out loud, I'm switching. I'm no longer a Jake Pauler, I am a Maverick. I'm joining the movement, guys. Logan, please say that I'm handsome and that when I buy Maverick merch, I will, I will be a, I'll be a maverick, and I can have 15 to 16 million followers on other things. Logan, if I could get, if you could just film a video of you saying that I've, I've got nice knees and just send it over. Oh, God, what I would do with that video. I used to think if you talk about Jake or Logan too much, it just makes them more famous. It just gets them more money. But my view has shifted lately. It seems that no matter how many people criticize them who are older, kids are always gonna flock to their stuff because right now they're treating their fans like a cult and they're growing it like crazy. So this is gonna sound like I'm making a bigger deal of commentary people, but I'm not even just talking about commentary people when I say it's very important that we keep criticizing people like Jake and Logan. They're not the only problem. There are tons of people on the internet that are manipulating kids for money. And YouTube can't just go and ban them because they believe they might be doing something unethical. The site is way too big. So as older, rational people, it's our job to criticize, not just Jake and Logan, even though it's a lot of fun, to criticize these people and make sure that when kids are growing up, they know that that's not cool. If we're all criticizing Jake and Logan and people like that, then more people recognize, oh, hey, my younger brother, or hey, my son is watching Jake Paul or Logan Paul, and I just wasn't really aware of it. I wasn't aware of what they were watching. It's good to keep criticizing them because it makes people more aware of their kids being taken advantage of. If you don't want a generation of kids with a closet full of low gang merch trying to be vloggers, we gotta keep doing this. It's just something we have to do. All right, none of that was funny, but I, th I think it was a little important. Uh, I think that's it for today's video. You know, I think... Gus is calling me. Uh, uh, can you, you guys talk to him. You guys talk to him. I can't, I can't.